Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Miss Donna, great girl, Mom Donna, coming live to you from Wilmington, Delaware, at work. How you guys doing? Today, I want to give you an inspirational word to live by. An inspirational word to live by found in the Bible and my notes, and that will be Psalms 35. Psalms 35, 27, and 28 that says, Let them shout for joy and be glad. Shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, say it continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue, and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Say it continually. Let the Lord be magnified. God, which is above all things, that we prosper and be in good health. Even as our souls prosper. But we got to confess that word. We got to speak it into existence. Faith without work is dead. And another thing. To have a vision board. And I have my tablet here y'all. And I have stuff written in it. I didn't even do this to about a month or two ago. Vision board. And I wrote down Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2 and 2 and 3 that says, write the vision. Make it plain on tablets. Write it down. Your dreams, goals, and what you aspire to be. So he may run with it who reads it. Keep it before you. Okay? For still the vision awaits its appointed time. There is a point in time. Ecclesiastes 3. Third chapter is time and season for everything under the sun. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. <laughs> if it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Amen. For God wants us to have in Ephesians 3 and 20, exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think. According to his power that works in us. Speak it into existence. Speak the word. Stand on it. Walk in it. Meditate on it. Psalms 1 and 3. If you meditate on the word day and night, you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that yieldeth its fruit in due season. Your leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever you do shall prosper. Meditate on it. Walk in it. Talk the word. You know those affirmations. Speak things. Speak that. Speak those things that be not as though it was already done. Speak it. Keep on confessing. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Keep speaking the word over your finances, over your life, over your children. If you have to get your pocketbook out and get your money and pray over that money daily. You pray over those children. Pay, pray over those bills. Sometimes you got to literally stand on your bill. Stand on it. No, I mean stand on your kids. <laughs> but speak the word. Faith without works is that. Okay? And if you lack faith, James 1, 1 and 5, He that lacketh wisdom, ask of the Father who giveth to every man liberally. Ask. Okay? This is just a short word, but speak the word. Walk in the word. Believe in yourself. Talk to God. Don't be afraid to pray. 
pray and believe what you're praying about. And sometimes things don't happen instantly, like it says Habakkuk. But write the vision down, make it plain, read it. And as things come to pass, check that off. You know, like people got a bucket list, check it off. But believe the things you wrote down, it's going to come to pass. Believe it and stand on it. That's great, Grandpa Dada. Yeah, give me little words of wisdom. Faith without works is dead. Sometimes I would pray stuff and I ain't even believe in it. Just praying it. But believe what you're praying for. Believe you're going to succeed. Believe your help is going to get better. Believe and walk in it. Believe and receive it. See yourself receiving it. I receive in Jesus' name everything, God, that you have for me. And I see it being done. I see people blessing me. I see, God, that everything that you promised me coming to pass. And I thank you for it. And I walk by faith and not by sight. But I believe it. I can smell it. And I thank you, Lord, for everybody that you have signed to me that you will reveal my heart to them, that they will be able to help me as you lead and guide them to even be a blessing. Thank you, Lord. I receive it by faith. And anybody listening and watching this video that needs healing in their body, Lord, touch them. Heal, deliver them, and set them free by the mighty hand of God. Let your power go through their bodies right now. Heal, deliver, and give them a testimony on how you are still the God of a second chance. Deliver them even from that alcohol, those drugs, that abusive relationship that they may be in. Some of them are wayward. Don't speak to their parents or children anymore. Chaos, division, heal, deliver God and set free. In the name of Jesus. And thank you, Lord for giving them a testimony. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. You have a blessing, delightful day. And if ever you want to be a blessing to Miss Donna, uh, I have a Cash App ID. If you want to be a blessing, my Cash App ID is dollar sign Donna L. Hall. Dollar sign Donna, D-O-N-N-A, L. Hall, H-A-L-L. I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button and share my videos. Have a blessed day on purpose. In Jesus' name, remember, take the Lord with you wherever you go. Love you. Bye-bye.